Thank you. Welcome to KPY Baseball Softball Opening Day 2013. We have, we have a beautiful day and we worked hard to make this happen. We have a change of fields, but that's not stopping us because all games will go on. And um, my name is Joe Coluccio. Tim O'Hare is assistant commissioner with me. Co-commissioner, co-commissioner. Ruth Kreis is the softball commissioner. Where's Ruth? And before we go forward, we are going to bring up one of Kings Park's students, Alexa Petritus, to sing the national anthem. Give her a round of applause. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bomb bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave most importantly I want to thank the town of Smithtown uh, they were phenomenal in getting all of their workers to the field yesterday uh, during the rain this morning and um, they were great and on the drop of a dime they switched from so our, our agenda for the day all games will be played here he played in the big leagues for 14 years he finished fifth in batting in 2001 with a 330 batting average behind Ichiro Suzuki that year who won the batting title he finished with a impressive career batting average of 291 he played for the Tigers, Rangers, Blue Jays, Brewers and Mets and he always beat up on our beloved, my beloved Yankees but it's my pleasure to introduce my friend Frank Catalanato Thank you. It's, uh, it's nice to be here today. Opening day has always been uh, one of my favorite days of the year. And the thing that I always remember about Little League is how much fun I had playing baseball. So make sure you really have fun today and, and throughout the rest of the season. These are some of the days that you're going to remember for the rest of your lives. When I was your age, I was standing right where you guys are today and um, I was never the best player on my teams but I loved playing sports I loved playing baseball and I always dreamed about being a major league baseball player so when I got home from school I did my homework and then I went outside and I played and the older I got the more I went out and I not only did I play but I also practiced and I always wanted to be the best that I possibly could be so I played the game the right way and I practiced as much as possible. Um, when I got to high school, again, I wasn't the best player on my team, but I worked hard and I wound up getting drafted by the Detroit Tigers, went to the minor leagues, 
everyone was bigger, stronger, and faster than I was, and everyone said that, and I heard a lot of people say I'd never make it to the major leagues. But that only motivated me. And I worked harder. I finally got to the major leagues in 1997. Like Joe said, I played for 14 years. I played with the Detroit Tigers, Texas Rangers, Toronto Blue Jays, Milwaukee Brewers, and the New York Mets. And I was very fortunate to have been able to live out my dream. And I just wanted to tell you guys today, just like in my life, I didn't let anyone tell me that I couldn't do anything um, or, or couldn't accomplish something. Whatever you want to accomplish and any goals that you set, you can accomplish if you work hard, if you're dedicated and, and if you're focused. So like I said, the most important part is to have fun, go out, have fun. Parents, please support and encourage your kids because they do need it and, and kids listen to your coaches and listen to your parents and most importantly have fun good luck today and and for the rest of the season thank you stood on these fields and coached KPY baseball organization he attended St. John's University and played shortstop there he has been the supervisor of the town of Smithtown for the past 35 years he is the longest presiding supervisor in New York State. Wow. He's a former assistant director of the New York Tax Department, former detective sergeant in the NYPD, and he served his country, our country, in the United States Army. It is my pleasure to introduce our Grand Marshal, Supervisor Pat Vecchio. Thank you very much. Um, it's tough following a Major League Baseball player. I only played in college. Anyway, I want to thank all of you and the commissioners for the honor of uh, asking me to be the Grand Marshal for the parade today. It is a great honor for me. Um, and I'm very complimented by the fact that I was asked to do so. And I gladly did it. Yes, I did coach on these fields. Um, I was pretty successful, uh, won two championships, but they never asked me back again to coach. So you made it up for me today by asking me the Grand Marshal. I'll close by saying good luck to all of you. Parents, keep up the good work with the youth and all of these fellows that dedicate their lives to the young youth of our town. It's just a wonderful place. You make the town of Smithtown a great place to live. Thank you all. Thank you, Supervisor Pat Vecchio, and thank you for your support all the years, KPY organization with Fields and everything that you've done for the town of Smithtown. Thank you very much. Um, we are almost done. And Sal is over there. Um, Sal has a table set up over here. He runs a great summer camp uh, for the kids. Make sure you stop by Sal's table. And more importantly, reach out to Sal. This guy has a passion and a love for teaching and helping kids. And Sal and Mike Luzum and Larry Izzo, a scout for the New York Mets, helped us out on a Sunday. It was freezing cold, the wind was blowing, and they were there. And they trained and helped coaches to set up practices. So I want to give a round of applause for Sal and make sure you use him. Play ball. Enjoy your day, everybody.